I'm seeing a lot of you guys struggle with Androids, and it's really messing me up. I really don't grasp how you're struggling with the Androids. They can't key charge. I think a lot of you guys saw a video by Afro Sinju and saw, oh, Androids are broken. You can false courage and just grab because you guys don't know how to get out of grabs for some odd reason. I really don't understand why you guys can't get out of grabs. It's really messing me up. I don't grasp that. So if you go to training, there is actually a thing called throw evasion right here where you can get out of grabs. You can you can just, that that's how you do it. You just click B. That's it. Just mash guard. That's the whole thing. You can just do it. It, it. You can just mash guard and get out of here. It's really not that difficult to get out of that. Th I, I'm going to show you again. Boom. As a matter of fact, he do it mid throw too. I'm going to let him throw it down mid part. Wait, wait, watch this. Boom that. He got into the animation. I still did it. You can, you can react to that. The window is not tight at all. The window is not tight. As soon as you notice the throw, as soon as you see it, don't give up. Just click. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at me. Look at, look at me. Boom. It's just one button click. And if you're mashing the guard button, which I hope you are, you can just get up out of there. I don't understand why you guys are having an issue. That seems to be the biggest strategy for most androids when I see them online. I see a lot of androids online. And sometimes you might encounter a truly toxic team. A team that might mess you up mentally and deeply. And when I say a truly toxic team, I'm not talking about one android. I'm not talking about two androids. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about something like that. My team in itself is toxic. We got Vegeta. We got Cell, who is also an absorption character that can you can get out of his grabs and stuff like that. But I'm talking about a team like this. You might encounter somebody that's using two androids, a giant Yajirobe and Hercule. You encounter this gonna be a horrible match for you because you don't understand how to grab break you can break out of his grabs you can spam a giant with key blast and yajirobe rush him down rush down yajirobe he can't fly so you can just charge your moves you can just charge moves and hit him with nonsense just annihilate him it's really not that difficult so in reality you're gonna be dealing with a lot of different play styles going into dragon ball sparking and you're probably saying to yourself well i suck i'm not having a good time how did you get so good what i do when I'm bored and I can't find anybody that's actually, you know, up to the par of my challenge, this is what I usually do. I usually go right to the opponent settings on training mode, right? Go right to the opponent settings and I put the strategy to super, a balanced strategy super, and I just watch them for a second. I just see exactly how they play. I like to see how they do their techniques and strategies and see how they rock and run. I like to see what they do initially and see how they perceive an attack. I like to watch this, especially with characters that I don't know how to play, to see how somebody would play and do certain techniques. A lot of people have asked me and said, oh, you should put your you should put your, your display of how you play on your hand and stuff like that. That's not going to help you. Copying my hand techniques isn't going to make you that good of a person. Learning my techniques will make you good. That will do it. Now, as you saw there, that was just a rush, a basic rush. I'm going to try to do some retaliation now and see how they do against me. I appreciate that the comms, you're able to do this with the comms and have these battles. A lot of people have complained about the super difficulty and said, oh, it's extremely difficult. It's very hard to go against super difficulty. It's one of the hardest things to go against. It's, it's so difficult. And this is what initially what I did. And when I made the Android video that I made, I used the super difficulty as a standpoint of why I think the Android suck because with other characters, they're doing a whole bunch of other stuff with the super difficulty. They're not doing any of the spam tactics that people online do because you can just break out of grabs and stuff like that you can just break out of them it's really not that difficult to break out of all the fun little grab mechanics and also people are saying oh but the androids can absorb key blasts absorb these key blasts right here they can absorb these key blasts this they can absorb these key blasts this is what they can do the androids can absorb these so, so good the androids can absorb these you can just move around just move around it's really not that hard just move around the androids can absorb you're having an issue with this com this is what you're having an issue with you're having an issue fighting against a super difficulty comm. This, disrespectful. I would do this for at least two hours and just do this all the time. And I also have a lot of residual information from Budokai Tenkaichi 3, so I'm just trying to help with that capacity. I recommend going into training and picking a low team or testing out your team against toxic characters and stuff like that and fighting against them online. That is the best thing you can do. They are going to counter you. This is a super difficulty comp. They're obviously losing false courage. They're going to be trying to use their fun moves. They're going to be able to break out of most of this stuff. Sadly, this comp isn't doing that right now, but most people online are probably going to break out of that stuff. Super difficulty comp isn't really that difficult. You're going to find people online that will test your mantle and test you are as a person. And I recommend with my whole chest and soul that you at least learn the techniques from Piccolo and practice. You can break guards. You can break them. 
It's not that difficult. I am resisting my urge to go into a giant character right now. Notice how he can't see me. Now, I want to point something out too. A lot of people are not understanding to look at the other opponent's gauge. You can tell so much. You can gather so much information. You can tell when they're going in the wild sense. You can tell what's happening with there. You can tell so much about the opponent's information just to prove I'm still on the difficulty of super still on super this is the best the game can offer just want to point that out when you understand the mechanics of everything so a lot of people are going to have issues with these giant characters see how you rush me right there look at this look at this look at him guarding look at that look at him guarding look at him look at that look at that now he's stuck this is how you deal with a giant character you stay up close to them you stay up close you don't allow them to do anything you stay up close this is how you deal with a giant character this is it this is your dealing with the giant character this is how you deal with them the, oh you discovered two strategies in one video i'm so proud of you look at that and you can just use beam techniques beam techniques work indefinitely that's gonna work as well and he's probably trying to rush me hopefully he rushes me soon sadly this is super difficulty and he's not doing much you hate to see it look at him go He's doing a bunch of nonsense because the comm doesn't know how to play with a giant, apparently. That's really disgusting and depressing. You hate to see it. You're not going to have that big of an issue with androids if you get used to androids. I want to point that out indefinitely. You're not going to have that big of an issue. A lot of people, let's do an online match. A lot of people will see an android and immediately say to themselves, Oh, this is the end of it. They'll deal with giant characters and androids. They always get so perplexed and confused when they see one of the two varieties, a giant character or an android. You're not going to be messed up when you see a giant character or an android androids break guards even with cell cell who i would consider to be the best of the android characters because he can absorb is just a great character overall because he has fun combos overall he's actually one of my favorites just based on his combo perception alone but a lot of people are relying on this grab nonsense and you can break the grab i'm going to keep reiterating this point throughout the entire video of people continually messaging me and my dms telling me oh man, I, can, I can beat you with my android team and they'll play me They'll play me, and then they'll say, Larry, my, you're just too good. I, I thought I could do it. I got to get back in the lab, man. You should train me. You should, you should train me up. You should train me. I'm not a trainer. I'm not somebody that can train you. I'm somebody that's going to tell you how to do it, and I'm going to tell you where you can get your resources at in the game because everything I learned from this game is slightly residual knowledge from Budokai Tenkaichi 3, but most of it, because of the new stuff, is within the game. A lot of the stuff I learned about this game is within the game it's a fun method when you can learn something from the game because the game doesn't want you to fail the game doesn't want you to lose against grade 8 vegeta the reason i beat grade 8 vegeta was because i spam key blast and i used the button spam i used the the rush technique the dragon rush it's really not that difficult to use those techniques and actually be a competitor in the high rankings of the game that's just what you can do in the game it's really fun i, I think it's fun i think it's a cool thing to do so we're going against a Kefla. I believe this is a person I fought already before. They might be mad at me. I'm pretty sure they have Kefla, Baby, and then they have Teen Gohan. This person isn't that good at the game. Not at all. Actually, I want to take that back. I might actually be a little bit stupid. This person might actually be good. So, realistically, we're going to start off with Vegeta. They're, going to tr they're trying to use some tech right now. We're going to start off with Vegeta. This is really good. He's starting off with some good efficient combos. He's doing amazing. Sadly, I don't think he's that good with learning the combos in that capacity. That's good right there. That's good. Hopefully, although we're going to have a vanish back and forth. We didn't have a vanish back and forth. That's actually a little depressing. I'm a little bit confused about how their strategy is going out with them, and it's really not happening. I'm going to go giant mode. A lot of people get confused about giants, so naturally, I'm going to go giant mode. I get a health bar back, and I get immediately, I get a little combo right here. Boom, 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 right there. Now, in order to maintain my supremacy, I'm going to switch real soon. I'm not going to use much rush like this move, and I'm going to use this move a lot. Oh, Spopovich. Amazing. This character is actually really good to get your characters back up. Spopovich is slept on indefinitely. I want to point that out. Now then, I'm going to do this. Boom. Now then, what I'm going to do as soon as I can get back, I'm going to switch over to Cell to show just how disrespectful Cell is. That is my goal right there. My cat is in the background yelling right now. Baby, what's going on? I'm so sorry. Baby. Baby. Ivory. Ivory. What's wrong? Ivory seems to be tripping out right now. That's my cat's name. Just want to point that out. Ivory's in the background yelling and stuff like that, and I appreciate her deeply. I wonder what's going on with her. She seems to be just mad about something. She has food in her bowl. I don't really know what's going on. Now then, Raccoon, also a good pick. Raccoon is a good pick. This person is switching out ideally. This is a great person to go against because they understand the mechanics of the game deeply. Now then, as you can see, that's an unblockable grab right there. That was pretty good. I believe that's an unblockable grab. That's pretty good. Boom, boom, boom. 
We're going to and fro, back and forth. This is great. Cell has a move that allows him, when he's in his other form, to, to, go, to absorb some health. Now, if you grab with Cell, he gets some health back. If you grab with him, which is really good. But I'm not trying to grab with him. A lot of people are going to do this little grab strategy right here. This. I don't see why people can't break that. I really don't understand why people can't break that. That doesn't make any sense to me. Even this person is not being able to break it. It's really weird. So I'm just going to go into this form cell. And this form cell, this is, when everybody tell me they're playing androids and absorbing, I assume people discovered cell for the first time. That was my thought process. I said, oh, people discovered cell. People discovered this. And learned how to do this technique where they can get your health back. Watch this. My health is going to go basically back to full. See right there. Boom. I had thought people discovered this cell. That was my thought process. Sadly, nobody discovered this technique. I thought people discovered this, but nobody was using this technique on me. They were using the other androids, which are significantly worse characters. They are significantly worse characters. I don't understand. I'm not grasping that. I, I had thought to myself, oh, this, this is, see how I couldn't get out of that? Those grabs I consider to be more difficult than the androids. If the androids had those grabs, GG's. I, I, I wouldn't have, this, this video wouldn't be being made. It would be GG's. But because it's not those grabs and these grabs, and second form Cell is actually a fun character to play just overall in general, you can actually get some health back. People are relying on getting the health back, which is nice. And I, I appreciate that. And Drain Life Cell doesn't take that much. I can do it right now. See? It doesn't take that much to use Drain Life Cell. It does not take that much to use Drain Life Cell. It really doesn't. I'm really impressed and proud of people for, you know, discovering the androids and at least making them viable and, and using a character that I personally would never use. I think that that is cool and I think that's fun. I think that's a great strategy to use. I consider that to be fun. Also, just a general tip here as well. Don't use boost that much until you have no key left. Because I, you can't, if you can't follow up after the technique, what's the point? It, it seems a bit goofy to not be able to follow up after the technique, especially afterwards. This person is good, and I'm very happy about that. However, if the time match goes on because we are close in skill set, it's going to be a little bit issue because we have the same amount of... Uh, of we don't have the same amount of characters. I'm pretty sure we don't have the same amount of characters. I, I can guarantee that. I guarantee we don't have the same amount of characters. You see how they perception my top technique? That's good. And I think that's just a great technique to use. They should stop this. They didn't stop this. Now they're going to be stuck in the mix. That's a little bit of an issue. They should have used the special fighting pose in order to get the bonus of the attack. That's what they should have done. They, however, did not do that. But thankfully, I think they're going to be able to do it. Nope. They should have used the special fighting pose when they had the chance. That's a little bit sad. So this is essentially how it's going to go for most giant battles because most people don't know how to play against giants. I have another video in which I talk about how to get past giants. Please watch that. Androids aren't that bad. It's not that bad to go against androids. It's really not a difficult task to go against an android if you can break the block. Breaking the block is a great thing to do. I showed you Cell, and I'm probably going to inspire a bunch of people to now pick Cell inadvertently. They're going to say, oh, wait a second. Cell is actually a character I like playing. He can charge and he can still move. Th this is what I'm going to do. And I'm discovering that. People are relying on false courage more than anything, I think. People are seeing false courage, and they're saying to themselves, oh, well, it's just false courage. I'm just going to false courage it out. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm seeing that. That's, that's, not a, that's not a good thing to do. That's not a good thing to have. I, I, I don't want people to be stuck on the false courage binge of everything. That That's just not great. As you can see, this Kefla is doing great right now, and I'm super over the moon about that. I'm super excited that Kefla, never mind, I take back everything I said. I apologize. How'd you get hit by that? You saw it coming. That's a fair amount of damage. You got hit by it. Switching over to Cell, getting back to here, and then going crazy, and then using this and getting some health back right here. Boom. Oh, wait. That was amazing. I'm really impressed. I'm going to use Solar Flare. Get out the way. You see how it says on their, their radar that they can't see me? They can't, They couldn't see me on their radar? That's what I'm talking about. You can see when they can't see you. Boom. Caught him again. Cell is a great character for a War of Attrition, if you're looking for a War of Attrition. But this is the character you should be worrying about. Cell, just rushing down Cell is a great thing to do. See how he just rushed me down? You got to rush down Cell. Don't let him charge. Don't let them get that in there. This is the character that people should be. I don't understand why people were, were upset about the androids. You need to be worried about Cell. Cell is the biggest contributing factor of what I consider to be an issue character. This character is an issue. He can win you games by himself. 
this in itself is a lot more easy to hit than a grab the grab would sell too is it's, it's it's really it's really a a better strategy to use just this cell and i know i'm teaching you guys horrible horrible evil things right now i'm really just teaching you something messed up something that's probably gonna break the meta in itself too this is someone's gonna watch this and then workshop this and ruin someone's life about it they're gonna ruin someone's life about it i can tell someone's gonna ruin someone's life a much better player than me will ruin that see how i broke that block see how i told you about breaking blocks and you can just do that yeah you can just break blocks it's a very simple strategy to break blocks but this right here you see how he's rushing each time in order to stop me that's a great thing to do as well just rushing to stop me rushing to stop that and i'm proud of him for doing that that's really good now i'm gonna stop using this cheesy strategy and go into perfect form cell that's what i'm gonna do a lot if you're playing cell and you see him going to perfect form this is your chance to rush and attack and strike this is good this is just a, a great thing to do he gets a little bit of health back but it's not enough to contribute to make up for the the actual factor of everything else when it comes to that after image isn't that great of a move he doesn't have that good of a move i just like the way he plays and fights it feels fun also i'm pretty sure he's on the cusp of, of uh stunning giants i believe i believe he can stun most giants in this form so that's also a good thing to have now i've ruined my android bit in which i don't have my android anymore as you can see i'm waiting for the opponent and i'm letting them do their techniques and moves i'm teleporting and bashing i'm dashing out and this is just good technical skill you learn this by just playing the game you learn this by not hopping immediately online as a lot of people are hopping immediately online i've discovered they're they're getting mad because of the fact that they don't have all the characters unlocked they're hopping online saying i'm just gonna go to rank because this guy i'm just gonna go to rank i'm i'm a, i'm, a, I'm goaded at games i'm amazing at fighting games this is not your traditional fighter as you can see the time limit is running out and that's a bit of an issue that's a little bit scary their time limit is running out as you can see that move didn't do that much damage those big wind up grabs i believe they're unguardable you have to get out of those boom i'm gonna switch over back to this vegeta boom see that See how we switch through? An android and a giant is your worst fear in this game. I'm not going to lie to you. But I've had a video how you get past giants. And hopefully, just by getting out of the block, the grab. Just, the biggest issue I'm discovering that people keep messaging me about is just the grab. It's really just the grab. You get out of that grab by just mashing the guard button or whatever the guard button is on your controller. You win. I'm using classic controls. I just want to point that out. Just mash out of it. You can just mash out of it. Also, you should be able to get out of those techniques. That's not an unblockable. That was not an unblockable technique. And this is Yajirobe. As most people don't understand that Yajirobe is just a character. He's not anybody to write home about. He's not crazy. He's not an insane character. People are saying, oh, Yajirobe's broken because he has full charge. He's still Yajirobe. He's still Yajirobe. Nothing changes about that. But hopefully you practice in the actual pickable training of how to get out of guards. That's a big thing to do. Thank you. Bye-bye.